Welcome to another episode of the God and the Goddess podcast. I'm the Goddess Ebony, and I'm here with the God, Brother Hiram Akeem. Say what's up. What's happening? The God is in the building with the Goddess. What's going on? How was your weekend? It was good. It was a good weekend. Peaceful. Got a lot done, though. You know, I fixed my steps. I feel proud of that. I can't believe you fixing your own steps. So we got to get Ebony a, a king. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You, and then you do your own mechanic work and everything. Not everything. I can do a little bit with a little bit. I can do my brakes. I can do a tune-up. I can do rotors. Why am I paying somebody to do my brakes? I did a brakes? thermostat you for my bestie. You need to be doing my brakes, girl. <laughs> get that money. That just sounds completely crazy. And everything. Do you think um, doing guy things make you less of a queen? No, not at all. Makes me more self-sufficient, but not less of a queen. Oh, okay. What are we talking about today? Subject of the day, do's and don'ts of letting somebody know you're attracted to them. Huh, this is a good one. Yeah, I've had some weird ways that guys have tried to get my attention and it didn't work. We ain't gonna talk about the dick pics again. No, not those, not those. You know, even though they might not work, I still might keep them. Just block them. Right, we block. Thank you for the <laughs> donation. <laughs> okay, um, well, first off, I'm gonna be honest. I have a supreme issue. I can't tell when a chick like me. You know why? Because I operate out of the friendship paradigm. Everybody's a friend. I think everybody should do it this way, too. You, because before you know it, you real cool with the mug. Yeah. And y'all, the company is great. Everything is normal. You would never know. I don't know when. And my brother But you got to be me. careful of that, too, because, you know, you don't want to end up in a relationship by accident. You, you can't. Not me. You can't be in a relationship by accident. Not me. Cause uh, I, I you let get you, our conversation we had the I, other day. I let you know I'm dating somebody. If you, happen, <laughs> I let you know what the time is real clear. That's your duty. I'm not going to be in no way. Now, and keep in mind, I know what a relationship is, though. Okay, a relationship is me and you are in a union um, to relate together. That's what the definition is. Okay. Now, a committed relationship is something altogether different. That means I'm relating with you and only you, forsaking all others. That's what a committed relationship is. But if you're not Hearing that out of me, you dating your homie. <laughs> okay. okay, I think everybody need to be honest about this here thing. We can go out to eat, we can drink, we can do whatever we want to. And we're going to ride that forever. If you're not doing anything to let me know you not like forever, me. Not forever, not forever. I don't know. I mean, if you like me, it ain't going to be forever. But if you're not doing, because the, the name of the topic is, how do you know when somebody like you? I don't. So I don't do anything. I'm not going to be the goofball throwing my tongue down somebody's throat. We're like, what the hell, bro? What you doing? So that's what, this is a pretty good topic. So tell me uh, a way that you can let somebody know. No, how about a way that I can know when somebody like me? How about that? You know, I'm not the one to ask. Because honestly, horrible. right. I, I, I'm more of the direct approach. If I like somebody, I'm just going to let it be known. Like, you know, hey, you well, free. I'm interested. You want to go out on a date? But... I don't know how to throw hints, you know, because I'll be the one that'll take a compliment just as a compliment, not as, you know, him hitting on me. But some guys feel like a compliment, you know, hey, sexy, that's, you know, them gonna, hitting on you. And I just look at them and keep going like, and they going to go no further hey, than what you hello. said. Yeah. That's what I do. When I compliment somebody, I mean, oh, man, you're like, you made it. In my mind is what I'm thinking. Dang, she's like, she made an effort today. So I'm going to let her know. So I see you, girl. I see you. You look nice today. And I usually get, oh, the twin was trying to talk to me. No, I wasn't. I don't try to talk. Mm -hmm. I can talk. Mm -hmm. I just gave you a compliment, and I gave it to you successfully. I've even had that with girls. Like, when I've given a girl a compliment, be like, oh, you look pretty. I'm not gay. Uh, I, I didn't say you were. I said you look pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 2020, so you don't know. What's the what? But anyway, when somebody is, um, how do you let somebody know that you like them? I got a surefire way to let somebody know you like them. Please don't say the note, check yes or no. No, that's a surefire <laughs> way. That's a surefire way, but we grown. You can send it in a text now. No, you, you definitely don't want to text, do you like me? Um, some people believe because somebody is in your presence and they want to be in your presence, that's a sign that somebody like you. I believe that's a sign that somebody like you enough to hang and be with you. That's a fact. I can't read into that. If this girl is coming through and all we do is eat hot dogs and watch football, that's what me and the renegade King Animal do. I don't think he like me. I think she like football like that and she like my hot dogs. Okay. Well, well for me personally, since I'm a little standoffish and I don't really hang out with a lot of people, if I'm really spending time with the guy mm -hmm. and I'm um, calling them, texting them, that's how they'll know I'm interested because I don't, I'm not a good communicator, you know, I don't that's really hang out. Real good on this. 
as far as texting and calling and keeping in contact with people, I'm good at talking, you know, but not keeping in contact with people. But if I like you, that's something I'll check on you. You know, just, hey, how you doing? Oh. You know, stuff like that. So that's what I do. But So you, you know, think somebody's supposed to read that as you like them? But that's how people that I... I don't, I'm not saying everybody. I'm saying for me personally, that's how most guys know I'm interested because if I'm not calling and texting you and you've given me your oh, contact so you're information. What, you're saying what one of my brothers say. If a lady is calling you and texting you, she like you. I'm like, yeah, she like I would me say enough that. to, to want to do what we did last night. Yeah. She want these hot dogs and watch the game again. Huh. See, it I'm not Eric. that company, you. not the hot dogs, but I'm not I'm sure. A, hey, I got some good hot dogs. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, bo- I baked the buns too. <laughs> <laughs> I know now you can put butter on the buds, you know. So you know what I'm saying. So I, I, I thought it was just my my, my company and the vibe because I don't, I don't want to pressure nobody. So that means we're gonna be homies for forever unless something happens. The only way, the surefire way, I know you like me. You can't mistake a tongue in your throat. That's a fact. Well, I know a lot of guys that say if a girl texts you back fast that she's interested. I, I still don't do that, you know, especially if I'm busy or watching TV. I've been there, forgot, text you five hours later. But a lot of girls are like that because they won't text you if they're not interested. But if they're interested, they're texting you right back. And if you ain't responding within five seconds, it's over. I know, yeah, I know that rule. But, <laughs> I, I, but listen, I like the fact that if they text you right back, they're interested. Yeah, yeah. But that don't mean she's interested in something other. She's obviously interested that's a, the fact is she's interested in what we what we got, what we have. She has to convey she's interested in taking it further. Yeah. If not, I'm not the arrogant guy to be like, oh man, this girl is all on my schnell. Look at her. She's I'm talking about like car. first getting to know, so like how do you, like a stranger, like how do you let them know? So yeah, that first texting and calling, yeah, but after that, you're going to have to put forth more effort by conversation, talking, maybe sex, maybe dates, you know, things like that to let them know that, hey, I'm I want to take like this that. further. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm going to convey that. You know, I'm going to let you know. I'm, there's no, I'm too grown to be slipping. Oof, we done had sex. I ain't even equipped with the intel to make it Excel. Okay, I mean, we ain't even talk like that. So I'm a com- kind of a communicator. I'm going to let you know, listen, it's something about your style that I want to see more of on the personal level. You cannot mix that up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of people doing what I do, the business thing. And if that's all we're doing, it's all we're doing. But, hey, I kind of like the way you smell. Something about your smell, I, I kind of want that in me. You're like a... A vanilla aroma in the car or something. You know, I want that hanging around a little bit. Y'all better stop this old school pimping, you know what I mean? <laughs> now that we covered a few of the do's, how about some of the don'ts? What's one of the ways that people should not or that people, yeah, let's just stick with should not because there's. I got, I got one, even though, it, 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 I ain't going to say that. I'm not going to say that because I'm pretty sure some people is listening and may have been guilty in, in, in the Hiram world of things. So I'm not going to say that, but let me translate it. Go ahead. Um, I'm sorry, you go ahead. I was going to say. All the way out of my mind right there. For me, number one rule, do not touch me. What do you mean? I hate when a guy tries to get my attention by either smacking me on my butt, grabbing my arm. What the hell you mean? Any of that. It happens. Like, this one dude literally tripped me in the bar. Gangster. And when I turned around, he said, you ain't going to keep walking by me without noticing me. What? Now I want to fight. That's some good marketing. <laughs> I ain't no dudes do that. Yeah, like, Yo, I would have caught you and been like, oh, boo, I'm sorry, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice little thing. Yeah, don't touch me. Even grabbing my hand or my arm, because I just feel like that's a violation of my personal space. You don't have to touch me to get my attention. You know, you can walk up to me, excuse me, miss, or, you know, hey, anything is better than touching me. I, you know that's what? an immediate this fail. This is going to be hilarious. I do not know how to talk to a lady at a bar. <laughs> I just don't, because I'm coming from the paradigm. I'm always DJing. I've always DJed, and I've never really, a- I've never asked a chick, would you like a drink? Unless she came with me. You know why? Because I believe people read the suggestion wrong. If I say, that girl looks nice, she don't look thirsty to me. She look nice to me. Your eyebrows look nice. That don't require a $5 drink. I'm not cheap, <laughs> but I don't want you to think I'm trying to get, my compliment was free. Baby, you look nice. Your eyebrows are, your eyebrows are arch dope. I'm not gonna say, would you want to drink? Now you're gonna think my 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 compliment came with a uh, uh, some marketing. Yeah, and I think that it really depends on the female because not everybody's like that. Because I know I've been at the bar several times, and I remember this one experience. I was at the bar with my friend, and this guy just kept coming over, 
and he would put $20 on the bar. He'd be like, both of y'all get what you want and then keep the change and he'd walk away. He did that about four or five times, put a 20 down to let's get what he want. Never tried to talk to us, never tried to take us out. He had just got a promotion at work. He was happy. He wanted to celebrate. He said he was there by himself. He was just happy in a good mood. He was doing he that. He didn't try to just, talk to y'all? No, not at That's all. That's a clown. I don't give a damn what nobody say. That word that they said. That's Maybe he had, you know, no, a woman somewhere no, that was on vacation no, or no, business trip, no, and he just wanted to celebrate. No, no if I'm celebrating, I'm, we're going to laugh and giggle. We, he was I'm, laughing and giggling. No, not he by myself. A, if I'm feeding the party that's over there, you got to party with me at least. I'm not feeding you. That's the equivalent okay, of what you're awesome. saying is me uh, standing in the line at uh, Golden Corral, and there's a, a, a group of chicks in the back, and I'm going to pay for their dinner on some play Pray it forward, but I'm saying I want to be. I'm celebrating. Yeah. No. What's wrong with that? No, y'all. Obviously, people do that all the time. Yeah, they do, but no, they don't. People they pay, don't turn around and be like, look. People be happy and want to just share the happiness, no, 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 and no, they, no. they they do stuff for people sometimes. He saw y'all looking like y'all was having a good time. He says, Yo, I'm celebrating too. I'm happy. Let me facilitate financially. Y'all get him. That's something different than I'm trying to play it forward. Now he over there in the corner by himself. He wasn't. He, he was, was going around the himself. bar talking to everybody. He was enjoying oh, himself. He, he was drunk. He, he probably was. <laughs> he was giving y'all a drink and talking to the. the he was talking to people. everybody in the oh, bar. Oh Lord! Even the DJ. He was talking to everybody did you in think the bar. He liked you? I did not. I did not take his offering to buy us a drinks, even though he did it multiple times and told us to keep the change. And I w I'm not a drinker, so oh, I didn't even buy Lord. me a drink. I just kept the change and bought her a drink. But, oh, um, Lord, you a business lady. Yes, see. I never, I didn't take that as him trying to hit on me. I just took it as like what I said. I thought he was enjoying himself. He told me he was celebrating. I just thought he was happy and wanted everybody to be happy around him. He's not enjoying himself. Is he participating with you guys? You don't know that? How you know that don't bring that man happy to buy somebody else drinks? But himself means himself. He might be happy spending money on other people. Some people get off like that. They like to make other people happy and it makes them happy. You know, I like what you're saying. It makes sense. Although, I don't agree. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a lonely word. I mean, I agree with that on a free scale. Like, when I go to work in my other job at the nursing home, like, it brings me happiness to make the people in the nursing I mean, home happy. Yeah, that's cool. So, but that's on the free scale. He was doing it on the money scale. What's the difference? The difference is he's at a bar giving two nice <laughs> Some beer money, a hundred dollars to be exact, eighty to hundred dollars drinking. One of them is clipping the chain, putting <laughs> he told it in me her to pocket. Keep the, the other one is getting drunk. Now you got two drunk dames at the bar, and he's sitting around talking to the sober ones. This is not making sense to me. What bar was you at? Stay away from them. No, go to that bar if you broke, because brothers is giving away <laughs> that drinks a hundred dollars worth to people they ain't even talking to. He was a nice man. What's his name? I don't know. I'm going to call him Brother George. <laughs> he looked like we a got, George. We're going to get Brother George. Brother George, <laughs> I, want, I want my um, daughter to marry a Brother George. <laughs> hey Amen. So, again, and wrap, wrap, wrap it up for us. Well, back to the subject. Obviously, don't spend your money so flagrantly to show somebody. That's a don't, you saying? Especially in the bar, because like you, like you just said, you didn't think he liked you. I didn't. It didn't work. I, it, it didn't work. Okay, I didn't think it was supposed to, though. Came up on forty dollars though for profits. Thank you, brother George. And this is another episode of the God and the Goddess podcast, brother Hiram. Thank you. It's been amazing again, as usual.